Welcome to the Random Campfire, an episode on rope work. This time we're going to look at the clove hitch and the timber hitch. The clove hitch is known to most as a pioneering knot used for starting and finishing of lashings. The rope travels over the spar, comes up on the right hand side, crosses to the left, tucks underneath, and tucks back through. So you end up with two parallel ropes with a crossbar. Alternatively, if you can see the end of the spar, you can make a loop, and then another loop, cross them over, and slip over the end of the spar, pulling up gently. The timber hitch, also known as a bowyer's knot. Rope passes over, loops round itself and then you spiral the tail back up the way it came and then pull it up. This can be used as a general purpose knot for joining to spars, it can be used for starting of lashings and it gets its name from hauling timber. Let's have a look at that again without the spar in the way. We make our loop, we pass round ourselves, and then we spiral. If you're not using modern rope like this, and you've got proper twisted rope, this spiral must follow the existing twist in the rope. So in effect you are thickening the rope. Thank you for watching this episode from the Random Campfire. If you've enjoyed yourself, like, share, tell your friends, and I'll see you next time.